Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 15548 Northwest Overton Drive here in Portland. We're located at the front of the home. We're off to the left of the front walkway area, basically the, the section between the, the house and the garage. Anyway, we're right in front of this window here. We have a three inch ABS clean down as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Uh, I would recommend getting a, uh, a new cap for this thing. Someone busted the big piece out of the top of it. There is a um, temporary knockout plate that I, I can put back in there, but uh, it, should just, it just needs a new rubber cap. They're only like five, six bucks. That way you're not getting debris and stuff falling down from trees uh, or neighborhood kids or whatever, uh, putting stuff down the line, clogging it up. Let's take another look at this spot here on the when we come back in once the water the uh, water's all drained out of the line. I think we may have a root intrusion that's come through the joint here. Transitions right here about 15 feet out over to looks like four inch schedule 3034 PVC pipe Do have some standing water there in the line. We'll take a look at that on the way out too once it's all drained out And here about 47 feet out, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to let the line drain out here for a couple minutes, as well as locate the camera head, make sure we're out in the street. All right, the line should be pretty much drained out all the way at this point. I'm going to go ahead and start reeling the camera back. I did locate the camera head successfully out on Northwest Overton. Looks like we still may have some water draining through the line here. There is a fair amount of debris build up throughout the sewer line. Toilet paper and grease you can see they're collecting in the just off to the side of the flow line. I don't know where we're getting all this water flow from. Yeah, it looks like it's got hot water shooting down the line right now. I don't know if a dishwasher or something inside is running. We're going to give it just a minute to drain out. Well, I think we've got most of the water out of the line at this point. There's a little bit trickling through. But the clean out is dry at this point, so it should be pretty much drained out. Anyway, I was mentioning uh, the amount of debris that's in the sewer line. I would recommend a hydrojet to clean that debris out of there.
So right here, about 15, 16 feet out, uh, we, the line right here transitions over to schedule 30, 34 PVC and kind of necks out to 4 inch pipe here. Um, I'm having a hard time telling if this is just a belly here or if there's something else going on under the water. There's a lot of debris building up here right here at this spot. Um, it's just hard to get a good look at it with all the junk in the way here. So Let's see if I can push some of it out of the way. Well, the belly here is really quite small. It's uh, there's a there's a bunch of grease and toilet paper and stuff hung out in here. A lot of that's going to build up just because it's too much of it's going down the line. Um, grease and then huge wads of toilet paper. Now, that's kind of what this looks like up here, up ahead here that was sitting there in that spot. Um, they just stick in the line like crazy and they they don't want to go anywhere, especially when they hit a little even a little bit of standing water like this. I'm going to do a toilet flushes to kind of clean the camera lens off here real quick. Uh, but this is only maybe a foot or so along here, and most of that standing water there is only around a half of an inch. So uh, it's very minimal, and I think it would be uh, kind of a waste of money here to, to do any repair on that. Just just need to avoid putting grease, uh, paper towels, wipes, uh, giant wads of toilet paper down the line. Uh, otherwise, that little belly there should not be affecting the flow hardly at all. If you put the wrong stuff down the line, however, uh, it's a little bit different circumstance. Uh, we're, there's some thick buildup right here. I can't tell if there's anything underlying going on underneath that. Um, but I, I, I mentioned earlier I'd recommend a hydrojet to clean the line out. Uh, when the hydrojet is over, I would recommend running a scope back through to one, show that it's been cleaned properly, and two, just to check everything, make sure the debris is not covering anything up. I kind of doubt it. There was a lot of debris sitting there in the line, so I uh, think it's just some grease and stuff that's built up there. Sometimes it, it can uh, cover up the uh, view of roots. And coming back through here, I thought there may have been roots earlier. It was just a bunch of debris sitting in the line. There is nothing protruding from these joints here at all. Uh, so my one recommendation here would be to do a hydrojet and get the line cleaned out thoroughly. And then just do a rescope again to, to make sure it was cleaned properly. And just to double check, make sure none of the debris was, was concealing anything, which I, I highly doubt. Um, anyway, and it uh, needs a new clean out cap so the debris is not falling down inside the pipe.